Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to use multiple layers as masks on a single layer in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects. And before we get to our daily tip, I want to talk to you about the script we're going to release tomorrow. And it's this Smart Rect button right here. I don't know about you, but I use shape layers all the time instead of solids. And to create a shape, you normally go here and just create it right here. And to adjust the size of it, you would go in here, you know, and adjust the size of it that way right here. But the problem is it only extrudes from the center. You know, you, you scale from the center and that can be a bit problematic sometimes. So before in the past, I would go into the position here and just apply an expression and I would fix it that way. But now you don't have to. So I'm going to show you what this smart rec does. So I'm going to get rid of this and then you can just click on it and you have some options in here. So you have this 200 by 200 rectangle, but you can adjust the size right in here. You can extrude it. Notice this time it's extruding from left to right and it's going up. Now you can change that by going to this anchor point. So right now the anchor point is right here on the bottom left, but you can say, let's take it to bottom right. So now it's right here. So now it's extruding up still and then to the left, which is awesome. And then you can say, let's go to top left. And now it's at the top left. So now it's going to the right and then it's going down. So yeah, I find it very useful. Let me show you a practical example. All right, so I fast forward to this and basically I just created something very simple. It just extrudes and then does this. Now the cool thing is it's doing it from the center right now. So you can quickly change that. So you can say, let's do top left and it's gonna go like that. You can do bottom right, you know, center right. So anyway, I want to thank my super talented friend, Tim Thiessen, for all the help he put into this. And I just sent him the script just for him to have it. And he took it in, polished it, made it look super nice. And before, this is what I had. I had this smart shape. And then he changed it into smart rect, which I really love. And so let me show you what previous one did. So here's my original one. So when you click on it, you have these sliders. So again, he didn't have the drop menu. You could just go to center. You can flip it both ways up and down. And he took what I gave him and made it into this right here much more clean and he created a drop down list which i absolutely love so yeah thank you tim if you want to get in touch with tim you can email him at pixelbot at gmail.com all right so for this example i'm going to bring in a shape into my composition by clicking on this smart rect and in here we're going to go into options and i'm going to set the anchor point to let's do bottom center so it's extruding from the center right here and i'll scale it up like this and move it up this way okay so next i'm going to go into my text here and i'll use this shape layer right here as our mask so i'm going to go into effects panel right click and then go to channel and then we'll click on the set mat so inside here we have some options so you know we can define which object we want to grab as our mat so i'm going to do this smart rect and you know we're grabbing the alpha channel but you have all these other options in here alpha channel is what i'm after for here and obviously we need to invert our mat so i'm going to click on this invert mat and if i just solo these two, you can see that it is working. So it's it's masking off our text, which is awesome. So next, I'm going to select this shape again and do Control D and duplicate this. And then in here, I'm going to set it to, let's do top center. So the anchor is going to be at the top center. And I'm going to bring it down like, like this maybe. And again, you can do multiple mats on here. So I'm going to select this mat and then Control D and duplicate it. And so now I'm going to set it instead of to Smart Rect, I'm going to set it to Smart Rect 2, which is the one we just created. So let's see what happens. If I solo these two, you can see that it applied both of these masks on top of my text layer here. And you're not limited to just two, you can do multiple mats. But there are some things we have to go over and I'm going to uncheck these. And next, I'm going to go to my first object right here. And I'm going to, let's draw a mask on top of it. So I'm going to select this tool and then go to mask and just draw a mask right on top of this. And right away, you can see that we're having some problems. Even though we have a mask on our shape, the set mat is not seeing that. So we have to fix that. So I'm going to go into this text and where it says source right here, I'm going to change that to mask. And as you can see, it's working quite well. It definitely fixed itself. What if we go back to this shape layer here and in the effects panel, what if we bring in some kind of effect? So I'm going to right click here and go to distort and let's click on this twirl. So I'm going to crank this up. You can definitely see that it's working, but let's see if our set mat is seeing this. So I'm going to select these two and obviously it's not. So it's not showing our effect in here. So to correct that, we're going to go back into our text in here. And then where it says masks, I'm going to change that to effects and masks. So let's see if that works. And yep, it is working. 
So yeah, I, I love set matte. I use it all the time. I'm a huge shape layer user. I use it all the time instead of solids. But there are some limitations to it. It works well on shape layers, text, and vector objects. But it doesn't work well with solids and footage. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring in a solid into my composition. I'm going to press Control Y. And I'm going to make it the size of my composition. Hit OK. So right now that the solid is the size of my composition, set mat will work perfectly fine. So if I go to this text here and just copy my set mats right here and then paste that on my solid here. And as you can see, it's working quite well. So, but where it gets weird is when you start scaling it down or up. So if I scale this down, now you can see that it's, it's doing some crazy things. So it's not working well. However, there are some workarounds that I do to fix it. So instead of applying set mats to my solid here, by the way, I'm going to get rid of my effects. To do that, I'm going to do Control Shift E and it'll wipe them away. I just apply it to a shape layer. So I'm going to, oh, before I do that, I'll have to uncheck this. So I'm going to double click on this shape layer tool. And then I'm going to apply my effects on top of this shape layer. So I'm going to paste my set mats on top of the shape layer here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this shape layer as my track mat. So I'm going to go into my solid here and I'll set it to alpha mat. So when you do that, if I hide these, you can see that it's working quite well. Here's my solid and it still works when I play with the size of it. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergei Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.